Good morning. It is the... What is it? It's the 9th of October, it's 10.25 and as per usual, church is starting right on time. Uh, I just realised that I haven't even started vlogging for today. But, um, Malcolm, who was in the video yesterday, you might be able to see over there somewhere. Is back to um, speak to the majority of the congregation. So it was just a men's breakfast yesterday um, that he came and spoke at. Um, but now pretty much everybody's here, um, as well as he will be doing visits for um, small groups as well, or home groups, or whatever you want to call it. That's Nick in the background. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but my battery's about to die, so um, I think I'll just leave it there and then we'll end with normal Sunday session um, when I get home. Peace. So we are back home now uh, after church and came back and spent some time with um, with our friend Eugene um, and I wanted to really kind of make an effort to get back and be a bit more regular with these Sunday sessions. Um, so uh, the text that I have today is from Psalm 34 verse 10 which says the lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Now, as I think about this, I think about people who um, aren't Christian and who l look upon those who say things like, um, you know, you know, the, the way that the Lord has blessed you and uh, you know the the things that he's given you throughout your life and that kind of thing and and the people the people you know people who say that they've been you know blessed and things they might not have like a whole lot of money or a you know really good job or a nice house and those kinds of things but I think that I think through seeking the truth of who Jesus is, we are rewarded with something that you can't really get in the world or from the world. And that's the understanding that by by God's grace and through Jesus' work on the cross that that we can be absolved of our sin and thereby join Christ in heaven and have a life eternal and there's what 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 better thing is there to be honest like i kind of think like just me personally i kind of don't think about heaven too much um, I tend to think more about how amazing God's gift of grace is. I tend to think more about the world that we live in and the fact that this world was created specifically with us in mind, specifically with me in mind that there is everything in this world for me to uh, be able to exist, like to be in the first place, and everything to exist as in to sustain me. 
um, and it's really only the it's really the only the influence of of the world, so to speak, um, that makes me desire things that I don't have and things that I don't need. So, regardless of what I do and don't have, the things that God provides me in the world are good and I think I don't know I think you really have to kind of you have to come to a place of understanding that that he gives you everything that you need to survive not necessarily to make your life comfortable, but everything you need to sustain you. And not just the things, not just, you know, food and shelter and those kinds of things, which he does, but also through his word. Um, and this is a good reminder of that, that once you understand who Jesus is, and when they say, you know, those who seek, meaning those who begin to have a have an understanding um, about who Jesus is and who God is, those who continue to um, to seek out and and more fully understand our, you know, our relationship, people's relationship, but also their own personal relationship, what it means. Um, what it what God's grace means for you the you'll you'll see the you'll see the value of the good things that God puts in your life um, I also think I don't, I don't know how other people feel about it but I also feel like I feel like all not all trials and not all hardships come from the devil I think that sometimes we are put in positions of difficulty by God to remind us of what's truly important um, but if we hold you know if we hold on to our faith and and if we hold on to the word and pay attention to to um, the spirit of God then we'll, you know, we can come through those things. So, yeah. So the lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Yeah. I think it's, I think, I think really it's just important to understand what is good. What, what the writer of the Psalms is is pointing to as good but what we think of in our you know very materialistic kind of commercial world and what we think is good you know i think that i think this this definitely um there's definitely a point of saying, you know, the things that we think are good don't sustain us. But this is the truly good things of God that actually keep us going, keep us moving forward. And in the appreciation of those things, you find the, the, the need and the want and the desire to, to know the giver of those gifts. More personally. Hmm. But anyway. That's me for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little snippet of uh, of church this morning. I thought that would be fun to get in there. But um, yeah. I will see you tomorrow with my regular vlog. And um, yeah. I hope you guys have a good working week. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys have gotten up to this weekend. Um, <coughs> 
I've actually just made plans in a couple of weeks to go um, out with my friend Eugene for our combined birthdays, uh, which obviously were in September, but still, we're going to go and try to go to a shooting range. I'm also going to go have a uh, dinner slash movie date with my sister Fiona um, for, uh, yes, yet another very belated birthday <laughs> but anyway um i hope you enjoy the video god bless look after each other and i will see you later